Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough where we only deploy female soldiers. As you can see, we're gonna go on our final chosen elimination mission, if I can call it that. But yeah, it's a, a stronghold assault mission for, uh, yeah, to take down the hunter, our last remaining chosen. If we're successful today, there will be no chosen left, and I guess this game will revert to just being XCOM again. But uh, today on this mission, we're gonna take Lena, Christina, Emily, Kelly, Heidi, and Marina. So uh, with this amazing squad, we're gonna take ourselves down a hunter, so the hunter will become the hunted. We're in position to end the chosen threat once and for all. Though I doubt it'll be easy. Advent isn't known for its forgiving nature, and we're setting out to destroy the last of the Elder's favorite pets today. Expect heavy resistance and stay focused. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. This is the moment we've all been waiting for, so there we go. Chosen Stronghold, here we go. So as with the previous two, we're just dropping in through a hole in the, in the ceiling again. But um, knowing these types of missions, this is gonna take a while. So, let's listen to the introduction first. So we have to assume the Chosen know we're here. That didn't stop us before, and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the Chosen's energy signature. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. I was hoping you might take a little longer to find this place. Things were just starting to get interesting between us. Now, you're already dead. I don't think we are, Hunter. I don't think we are. We'll just move along the facility and I'll see you guys in a second. Because the first room appears to be pretty clear. So first turn done and a Berserker, a Purifier, and what seems to be a Lancer and a Trooper. Holy crap. Um, yeah, we have a few Blade Storms ready though. <laughs> there we go. Burning, because I gave her the... Uh, oh no, the Fusion Blade actually has Burning now. Which is great. So, yeah, I don't think that Berserk is gonna live long. In case you're wondering if I've left some surprises for you along the way, the answer is yes. Think of it as a warm-up before the main event. Well, this warm-up isn't gonna take too long, because uh, these guys are basically dead, because they're way too close to me. So, uh, there we go, 100% on that Lancet. With the Talon Rounds and Hunter's Instinct, that goes up to 17 damage. Uh, and then we get Implacable, so we might as well move a little bit closer to the door. To see if there might be anything else over there. Nope, it doesn't seem like it. Then, I think I'm gonna move right here to pick up that focus with Lena. There we go. One more focus. And then I think I can still rend, yeah, I can still rend either the trooper or the purifier. That's good to have that in the bag. Uh, we have a 96% chance to hit with the pistol on that trooper in the back there. So that gives us a nice shot to weaken him. That was only three damage though, but that should be enough to get a Randolph with Lena. So if you just put it over here, she can kill off that trooper. With a purple slash. And we get up to maximum focus within like, yeah, two turns. Which is really good. I want to try and get that trophy in this mission. Because we know this is going to be a pretty long mission. So let's parry. Um, then up next is Marina. Marina can probably take care of... Yeah, she can probably take care of the Berserker. So there we go, just fire at the Berserker. With a pretty hefty shot. Nine damage. I don't know if he actually moves, because otherwise that Blade Storm is going to trigger again. No, no, he's just, uh, he feels like he's at the same position that Emily is at. But, he's clearly not. So, Emily has Shredding. Can't forget about that. Which means that if I put her over here... Tired of waiting around. She could possibly just kill this guy in one go. There we go. Oh, she did get damage there. That was annoying. I didn't think that explosion was going to be that big. Okay. Um, not that big of a problem. Might have been a bit too early now. 
but uh, we can use the pistol shot from Christina to maybe kill the Berserker and get her into shadow immediately. Let's try that. There we go. And we're concealed. Okay. And then Kelly, yeah, that, that was the last of them. So uh, Kelly can move up. And maybe even already heal. I'm gonna wait because it might be that Emily gets uh, burned in the next turn. So let's just put it on Overwatch. And then it stays quiet, it seems like. We're gonna get another quip from the hunter, probably. Ooh, that I'd wall like is to going. Say you're walking into some sort of elaborate trap. But then I'd be lying. To be honest. I never thought anyone would ever walk into this place voluntarily. Okay, so that's good to know. No special trap uh, or anything. I think if I got this correctly, I saw, you can see the statue. Yeah, you can see the statue of the portal chamber over here through basically everything. So I think if I just go, that's not a door, but... That doesn't seem like to be the door. So I think this is the room. This is the portal room. And usually the door is on the sides here. You know what? We're going to have to cross this room anyway. If there's, there's a door over here, that's going to be good. Otherwise, we're going to have to make our way around later. And no, it's not the door. We're going to have to go over here. Okay. Got it. Here we go. To start draining Lena's uh, power supply already a little bit, I'm going to create a ghost. Um, from, yeah, that corpse seems fine, from the Purifier Corpse. So then we have basically an extra unit. That was pretty loud. And we take away two of the focus from Lena. So if she just does one focus uh, enabled attack, she should be able to go back to zero. I suppose this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses. I have to say, I'm rooting for you. These things aren't the best conversationalists. Again, I really love the Hunter's voice actor. He's really, really good. The Just the, the right amount of cheese in the voice and just the, te the constant teasing about what, what we're going to have to do next and how he likes the challenge. Ooh, there we go. Four more troopers. So, Purifier... Oh, spotted. Ah, goddammit. So Christina has been spotted by that shield bear. That is annoying, but nevertheless, we're gonna have to take them out. So first up, Marina is right next to the shield bear over here. He has a lot of armor, but I want to shred that all from his body. And we even get a critical, which means that he's almost dead. Um, I can kill him with basically everything, but uh, Christina is... Ooh, she doesn't really have a shot here, does she? Not a lot of shots on her, but we do have a few pistol shots available if we want to. Wait, I'm missing one. Where did the purifier go? Uh, I think Heidi should probably go for the Lancer. She's usually good at killing these guys. In one shot, so let's just take a look around the corner. And she doesn't spot the purifier. I don't know where that guy went, but this guy, guy is going to be dead. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. So that means we got implacable, which is always nice. Then, uh, I would get... I could do a vault on the shield bear, killing him instantly. Yeah, that seems like a good option. Then we're at zero focus again. This mark endures beyond your pain. Blammo. No aftershock, which is fine. And we spend that focus. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Now, um, let's move Emily to the sides here. Maybe we can spot the purifier over there somewhere. Aha. Seems like we do. Wait. Where is she? Uh, what? Did he? Ah, he went through the... How the hell... How the hell does this work? That's not correct. Um, you know what? <laughs> Why the hell is he all the way over there? Look how far he is. Um, let's try. Did that kill him? Doesn't seem like it did. This is weird. Um, what else do we have here? We have Kelly shots. 
this is weird. Not a problem. So Kali can go over here. She also has a shot at that magical purifier. But I think I'm gonna do this with Christina. Put her around the corner. If she can also see the magic purifier, she can. So that's uh, a lightning hands on him. And that takes him out. He was somewhere in the ether over there. <laughs> that was weird. The camera angle is all confused as well. But we can also get fanfire. What else is this? Face off now. Fanfire. So that could technically kill him. If we get max damage on all shots. Oh, wow. That was three criticals. Christina, damn. Wow. Okay, then. That's the end of that turn. This game was a lot more fun when you followed the rules. Well, if you're not going to play nice, neither will I. Oh, come on. I thought you were rooting for me, Hunter. That's a bit sad. But with eight enemies down, we're down to the last six already. So that is really good. Now, Lena. Lena is all the way in the back, but she can end her position right into this uh, shiny orb of focus. So we're already building uh, back up to max. There we go. Grabby, grabby. Ooh, psionic energy. And we get also a superior expanded magazine. I didn't know she could also have loot in there. There we go. Psionic energy. So use the next turn to uh, reload a bit and heal up Emily. I should probably start going on and on now about how I will defeat you for the glory of the elders. But let's be real. I just like to kill things. See, there we go. That's what I like about the hunter. And basically all the Chosen, because they ha each have their own personality. And he just likes to kill things. I mean, fair enough, right? He just he just likes to kill things. Um, let's see. So I left Marina in the back here. We're not going to be able to do much with her. But I am going to move forward now. So let's just open up the door, because that does not take an action. We get sight into this room, which should be adjacent to the... Yeah, I think this is the room that we're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna move Emily in and that should reveal anything in this room if there is anything it doesn't seem like it so uh, moving along and let's not forget the sweet deal they cut us I take you out and this world is mine think of all the fun we'll have okay so yeah he's just in it for the money basically um, let's open up the door. We're all huddled around it. This will definitely still contain enemies. So let's just open that up. And we got the Andromedon and three freaking Vipers. Okay. Vipers are annoying to hit. Remember that. But other than that, seems to be pretty okay. Remember, they should also be scared of the Viper suit. So I really want to try that out. Um, they also only have eight health. So I could reaper them if I wanted to, but it seems like a waste at this point. Um, first things first, Emily has shredding. So if she can get into the room flanking the Andromedon, ah, oh, she barely can. So Kelly goes in. Absolutely. Nobody's going to be on Overwatch, so that's not a problem. We flank one of the Vipers, so let's just fire away. There we go. Critical hit in the face, and we get a free action, which means that we can even fire at that 90% one over there. Oh, that was a dodge. That was a 90% miss, even. That wasn't even a dodge. Interesting. Um, I think I need to shred that armor first, but I'm wondering... I mean, I can put Heidi over here, even. So let's put it over here. And there we have the Three teleportation. Directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Got it. Let's go. There we go. That's good for that. Can I get control back? Thank you. Now, did that change Emily's pathing a little bit? I need one more. Ooh, okay. This is gonna be risky, but I'm gonna do it like this. So, Emily over here. Finally. So that brings her in range of that. Andromedon. We have two rangers pointed at the Andromedon, so let's just rapid fire 
on the Andromedon to take out all of his armor. That's one critical. And if that's another critical, then we can probably... Ooh, that's a miss. Okay. Not good. Not good indeed, but we still have plenty of other people available to uh, start firing at pretty much everything that's still alive here. Um, first things first, I'll probably just rend that Viper in... Is that other one also in high cover? I don't know how... How Kali actually got that high of a, a shot percentage on that thing, but there we go. I will tear you apart. That's a rent that's only gonna do two damage to that back Viper, but that means that he's killable with a pistol shot. So one focus, and then we get momentum, but I think Christina, Christina should be able to kill it with a single pistol shot. We do not have a lot of pistol shots left though. Uh, so we don't have lightning reflex and stuff like that. Although fan the hammer actually, fan fire actually comes back rather quickly. Let's put Christina over here because she seemed to have a good position before. Aha, and that gives me an idea. So if I just fire once with Heidi. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna fire once with Heidi. He's starting back up. He is starting back up. And we do get Implacable now, but that's not what I'm looking for. I am looking for Marina. Can Marina do something? Probably not. Probably not. Um, nothing I can do from over here, but Christina has a pretty good position now to just do face so she can't see him. Yeah, he's hiding behind that full cover. And even though he's not taking cover behind it, we can't do anything with that. Okay. That's gonna be problematic. Because Kelly's... Wait, what's our bond? Ooh, I could teamwork Marina. But that's not gonna kill it. No. Okay. Um, okay, then we need to kill the Viper with the pistol shot. Please. There we go. Okay, the Viper at least is dead, but now the Andromedon, the yeah, I kind of miss, uh, missed that point. Um, I'm just going to parry Lena, but sadly I won't be able to do anything. No, no. Um, so I'm just going to move. No, I'm just going to put it on Overwatch. I could do the Ghosts. But the ghost isn't gonna... It can rent, but that's basically it. And I'm gonna lose... No, I'm gonna have to... Uh... I'll probably move the ghost over here. Um, just to make him a little bit of a target. Or her. A little bit of a target, but I think he's gonna use an acid bomb on Christina and Kelly there. So that's gonna be sad, but... Um... That's gonna be it, I think. I'm gonna move Kelly, uh, um, Heidi out of the way a bit as well, just to avoid him using the acid bomb over here. So, end turn. Ah, Andromedons are annoying. Ah, uh, we have Bladestorm. And that gives us a bit of damage, but that's gonna be annoying, because, of course, she's not immune to damage. He's gonna punch her. Okay, 7 damage. That's not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. To win this war anyway. And imagine how bad you'd feel watching the elders tear this world apart. I'm doing everyone a favor. Okay, so now, um Marina over here. Tired of waiting around. She should be able to take him out. Uh, 8 to 10. It's not guaranteed, but at least... Here we go. Oh my god, he's still alive. Okay. That's probably one health left, yeah. Okay, um, let's move Emily out of the way. Because um, I'm guessing that's going to create an acid explosion. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Um, she also, She's also Colonel, so I don't think I can give anybody a promotion here now. Everybody else is Colonel. Um... Okay, then I'm just going to use uh, Christina's pistol shot to kill him. There we go. 
We got out of that pretty okay, so let's head towards the portal and I'll see you guys in a second. And everybody's on the platform, so here we... Oh, I pressed the wrong button again, um, but we'll we'll get to it. I mean, I there we go. Another quip. If you told them what you saw in the Elder's Chamber, the truth of what's to come, no, you couldn't have. They'd be home screaming now if you did. So, I need to press the button, the Activate Ascension Gate button. There we go. Uh, only units on the Ascension Gate platform will proceed through the gate. Units left behind will return to the Avenger. There we go. Everybody's on there. Before. Brace for transport. Here we go. So, and there we go. The final time we're going to do this. Looks similar to the Warlock setup, so again with the central tower. This should be doable. Get ready, people. You know what's coming next. We do. We do indeed, Finally, so... The real fight begins. See you soon. So I can grapple up here, just to see what's going on without using a single movement action. And we get nothing. Okay, there's always at least one batch of enemies already present. So we're gonna just move around and see when that exactly is gonna hit. Heading out. And I think we just triggered it with the first movement, because I can't switch characters. There we go. Two chrysalids! Two chrysalids, that's really good, because that means I don't really need to spend any, any ammo on these guys. I can just sword strike them if I want to. First one going down over here. Sprinting up and then slashing him in the back. There we go. Blade Master and a critical because we can now do criticals on uh, blade strikes as well. And then we can use um, Emily to do the same on the other one. Although I would like to do it with... Ah, we'll see. If I don't kill it, I can kill it with Lena and Lena gets her final bit of focus we need for this mission. There we go. So it's burning. Yeah, it hit the plate indeed, but Lena can now get her final bit of focus uh, by doing it like this. And there we go, Circle of Psy. We even get the trophy already. I thought I needed to spend it all again, but apparently not. That takes care of the, the barrier though, that's a bit annoying. Oh, and I didn't notice, but I think... Yeah, the ghost is gone. God damn it. Okay. If I had known that, I probably wouldn't have used the ghost immediately. But uh, getting ready for the hunter, though. So we're going to be moving up. I don't know if he spawns in immediately. I think he does. So we're going to have to be careful. But putting Christina in a better position should be okay. Then putting it on Overwatch. And Kelly can also go into Overwatch. And I could move Emma, uh, Heidi further, but I don't think I need. I'm just going to put it right next to Christina to get her a bit of a central position. Same with Lena. Lena can go into parry. And then not, absolutely nothing happens. Okay, so that means that we need to move up. Uh, I'll do that as quickly as possible. Um, unless there's a second batch. That could also be that there's another batch of enemies here. Um, so to check that... Let's put Heidi over here. Position confirmed. So she can drop down. She gets sight of the obelisk. The resurrection chamber. And that also probably triggers the hunter. There we go. You're not supposed to be here. You were never meant to figure out our little trick. Full of surprises, aren't you? Soon to be full of holes. Ah, oh, I like that character. I really like. I really oh, like him. Menace, you know what to do. Oh, okay, he was already there, but um, there he is, Peekaboo. So, uh, still shell shocked. So he takes increased damage from explosion. Takes increased damage from Templars, which is why Lena is here. Um, and he gets a chance to return fire against Miss Schultz, which is also why there's two rangers with us. Because melee attacks will never miss. 
Um, so he can't do a revenge as well. And Brutal, attacks decrease the will of any soldiers within sight. Mechlord can summon robotic allies. Kinetic plating is probably the most annoying one. And low profile defense increased after the first attack of every turn. But this is going to be the final time we'll face him. Well, the second to last time. Because of course he's going to recover his second time. But that's not a good starting position, buddy. I wonder... If I put Emily over here, she has shredding on her shotgun. If I can get a flank shot off over here, that's 73, that's not good enough. I don't want to miss shots. So, run and gun. Run and gun and put her over... Here then, I suppose? Yeah. That should still be a flank shot, he's not behind that cover over there, so... 94% and... Shredding! There we go. And he's burning, which is also really, really good. No, you shouldn't really, but let's move Christina over here. Should get a shot on the... that's 85. I could do lightning reflexes as well, to just have this over with as quickly as possible. But I should probably keep my options open for later. Let's see what else we can do, because I think we still have quite a bit of options here. Does Lena have the reach? She does. She definitely does. So let's just let her hit the hunter as well. You will pay the price. Indeed he will. I think this is going to be rather easy because the hunter is weak to a lot of things. There he goes. 13 damage. You call that power? And now we can hit him with a pistol. It's not going to do that much, but it's, it's something. What else do we have? Kelly, Heidi, and Christina. Christina could do more with it. With every missed shot, she's going to generate that plating on him. There we go. That's five more damage. Um, yeah, the sh Ooh, he actually responds to the Shadow Keeper. That is interesting. Kelly is in a bit of a worse position. She can't really do much. So I'm just going to see. Uh, I'm going to do run and gun. Or do I just do a sword strike? That's 11 damage. That's not going to be enough. I want to do. Yeah, I'm going to do run and gun. Ah, oh, this is not a good idea. But here we go. Uh, run and gun over here. And now we can do. Wait a second, are you serious? That's only 87% chance. So if I do rapid fire, that's going to be double 72. I don't want to risk that. No. So, 87. That is 17 damage. That means he's almost down. So, combat protocol. Yeah, uh, I'm going to move up. So I think if I put it over here, she should still see him, I hope. Otherwise, this is going to be problematic. Moving Kelly a little bit closer. And then I hope that icon doesn't disappear. It does not. So combat protocol. That's going to kill him. There we go. And zappy zap. Hunter was killed. And he goes into his little hidey hole. This device functions in a similar fashion to the capacitor we encountered previously. I recommend haste in disabling its prime mechanism to prevent the Chosen from yes, regenerating Doctor. indefinitely. Let's blow it to hell. It's Barry Lena. child of a god. This service will not leave me unattended. So we have an officer who moves into a rather peculiar position. Aha! And they're both there. That is actually pretty good, because that means I might be able to use explosives. Um, we're going to have to split this up a little bit. I think Lena might just have the movement range to move all the way to... Yeah, to the Codex. The Codex is going to survive that, however. Uh, so I'm going to have to be careful. So, first things first. That officer, where is he? Over there in the back. Huh. He found himself a, a nice little hidey hole there. But I think Kelly might actually be in a perfect position to flank him. Yeah, she can. 
I could even... Ooh, that's probably even the better option. I could skull jack him. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try the skull mine. Let's hope it works. Ah, crap. Okay. Ooh, that is not good. Uh, but I do get another action. I still think that's broken because I used two actions to do that. Um... 100% shot and 40% critical chance. Better than nothing. She's gonna be in a bad position anyway, so that's a critical. That's 12 damage. The EMP bomb would probably do enough damage to kill the Codex. How much does he have? He has 12, so the EMP bomb would kill the Codex. Um, but that's that feels like a waste. No, it's not a waste. If I want to kill the Hunter in one turn after he comes out of the healing process, I need to kill the Codex now. So I'm gonna move... No, I'm just gonna use it. There we go. EMP bomb. And then I'm gonna put Lena out right in the center of the arena. There we go. Um, she could actually fire again. That's 39%. I might as well try. Ooh, was, was that the two damage that I was still... Yes, that was the stock. The stock killed him. Okay, that's really good. That is really, really good. Because that means that we can use all of the shots from Christina and all of the shots from our two rangers on the obelisk. Meaning that it will probably die. Okay, okay, okay. This is really good. The setup is perfect. It's working out really, really nicely. So... Um, first up, let's move Emily over here, so she's kind of in the let's middle, so she has a wider range, and then just use rapid fire on the obelisk. The 15 aim deduction doesn't really matter, because it's, uh, it's always guaranteed to hit on this thing. Or not. Did we just miss that second shot? Oh, wow. That is peculiar, um, but let's do the same with Heidi. That's Watch weird. That. I thought, because there's no hit percentages on the building. So if you do rapid fire, you would... Yeah, never mind. Let's just do, let's just do it again. I don't care. There we go. That's nine more damage. And another ten damage. And then we have our biggest damage dealer of all, Christina. Christina, let's just fire the pistol once. That's four damage. Then we can do the lightning reflex shot. Another three. It's not a lot though. And now we can do fan the hammer, fan fire. That's up to 18 damage. Five. They all hit. And I don't know how much does it have left. It has six health left, so yeah. I think we're pretty sure that that thing is gonna... Yeah, gonna die. Okay. That's good. There we go, we get another spawn from a priest. They're actually really nice today. The priest is not a problem at all. And then on the other side we get... Now we're gonna get a chrysalid! Ooh, yeah, a chrysalid. That's not gonna... That's not gonna fly, is it? Ah, oh, you are so dead, Hunter. You are so dead. So first things first, let's uh, fire the pistol one more time at the building. Ah, that's just not enough as well. <laughs> so let's do that again um, on the building. There we go. Please kill it. I think it broke. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration process has been interrupted. I believe now would be the appropriate time to take them out. Then you know what to do. Take that creature down. Um, okay, we'll, we'll definitely do that. That was a bit weird. But um, Lena actually does increased damage on uh, psionic units. So that means that if she goes for the priest here... Oh, the priest, the priest, the priest, the priest. Can you show me? Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's just turn the camera just slightly so we can actually rend the priest from... Come on, there's, there's like... 
No. 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 Yeah, over here. Thank you. A righteous strike. You are so generous with your handy UI. And... Slashy Doodle Ding Dong. Oh, and he's stunned as well. Yeah, he's not going to survive, is he? So let's just move uh, Kelly just slightly over here. Not a problem. And then a fire at the priest. And he's down because he couldn't. He couldn't. He couldn't get out of that. Um, then we have. I think I'm gonna use Emily to just go. How much? How far can she go? Can she hit the? No, she can't. Okay. Then I'm just gonna use Heidi because Heidi can get over there. Yeah. I'm gonna reload the shotgun. So we have everything basically. And then we can use the sword slash to kill the chrysalid. Because the um, assassin Katana actually bypasses armor, so guaranteed kill. And I don't think the hunter starts already. Okay, so that's implacable. Um, we could actually move back to the middle because we know she won't take fire in the next round. So Lena goes over here so she can target anybody. Then. Um, Hmm, Marina is over here. I could put her upstairs on top of the tower as well, just to give her a better shot with a grenade launcher from basically anywhere. So, here we go. Finally. And then I think it's high time we just kill that hunter. We have everybody available. Uh, I should probably also put Emily up here and reload her. There we go, and reload that bad boy. Click, click, and just, I could move around, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna make much, much difference, so let's just uh, move to the move sides. The there we go. And then we get the hunter over there. And he only has a bit of his health. But of course, we did use our running guns. And just when I was starting to like you, so, first things first, Marina, uh, we saved up the Shredstorm Cannon, so let's just use that right now. I'm hoping that's actually going to break that column over there, I don't think it will, but uh, if it does, that would be really, really nice. Um, so, Shredstorm Cannon, or... What are our rangers doing right now? So they're one turn away from another running gun, but we could do a double sword strike. I think I'm gonna do that. So, that means... Still, original plan, Marina first, with the Shredstorm Cannon. Shredstorm Cannon up there um, goes in for this shot. Blamo. Doesn't take the with her but we do a lot of damage then we could still fire at him it's only 44% chance so I'm probably not gonna even bother you now um, we're gonna start meleeing him <laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny so first Lena Lena first let's rend this guy uh, from the corner like this I could could have even done the psionic storm but Let's just hit him in the face three times. He's gonna die from all of the all of the sword strikes. There we go. Ren damage increased. That was a nice trick, Templar. Low profile isn't gonna matter now, because we're gonna just hit him with one. Ooh, it does matter. 85%? That is interesting. This might come down to chance after all. So over here with a big hit. That was a hit, and he's burning, so I don't think he's going to survive this. I am so sorry for this, uh, Hunter, although I'm not really. I did like the guy a little bit. He was he was probably one of the most uh, quippy. Yeah, there we go, 100% on Heidi, so this is definitely going to be over in 3, 2, 1. There we go. And that's the last of the Chosen. And the Sniper Rifle is freaking out, but... Cutscene! To see him bleeding on the floor. Not easy, but we managed to pull it off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces.
is what it feels like to be afraid, not by style. Boom. There we go. Only one wound, well, two wounds on the same person, Emily got hit twice. But there we go, Chosen Stronghold completed in 15 turns, killed 21 enemies, because we left two alive in the uh, original area. But yeah, excellent. I would uh, agree with that statement. Excellent indeed. And there we go, back at the Avenger. As you might have noticed, we don't get a trophy for killing all the Chosen. That's a bit sad, but... The Elder's immortal servant will bring hope to all those who thought its death impossible. So Heidi is even shaken, so that's sad. So we're not going to be able to use her for a while. And pretty, basically everybody is tired from a long mission like that. So uh, we did get a trophy for the Templar, which I'm really, really happy with. So uh, let's continue. We got Codex Brain, the Hunter's Dark Lance. Uh, so that's probably going to be a special upgraded sniper rifle. And the Hunter's Dark Claw. Ah, there we go. Revolver. So PD Expanded Magazine by four. Uh, crystal corpses, the officer corpse, and the priest corpse. That is the final one of the hunters. So the prized weapon of the chosen hunter. This rifle was no doubt responsible for countless assassinations in the field. Through our research, we will see whether credit truly goes to the weapon or the one who wielded it. We are stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Why, thank you, guys. And uh, we've taken out the last chosen. Low intel. Um... I don't really care about that. Um, game? Game, are you okay? I don't really need Intel anymore. Um, so Heidi needs to rest, which is fine. Um, but yeah, the game seems a bit confused. Because as we know, we made contact with everything. With every single continent. We only... Um, Intel isn't really low, by the way. 162 is not low. That is... Confusing, to say the least. But... And we get a dark event completed, Advent Rural Checkpoints. Stifles the movement of resistant resources, decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. Oh god, that is a lot. That's like four, over 400 supplies that we're gonna lose. That is annoying. So yeah, 412 now instead of 824. God damn it, my hard work. Now operational. So... The Scilab is operational. Let's check that out, because it's a nice purple room. It's our final facility as well. And we can now put in... I think we can put in rookies, right? I think we can. Uh, Scilab training, there we go. Any rookie can be trained as a powerful Psy operative by staffing them in the Scilab. Staffing an engineer will decrease the time necessary. Um, so let's uh, put Miyu Tanaka in here. There we go. 10 days, uh, we can put our engineer into the side lab as well, and that decreases it to 5, I suppose, yeah. 5 days, that seems fine. And of course, now we get our supply drop. Message coming through, Commander. There we put go. And there we go, we get a, and you have a your positive stuff. pat on the back, so we killed the final chosen right on time. Uh, the monthly supply income is reduced because of that dark event, sadly. It's only 385, by the way. There we go. And the Warlock done. And the Hunter done. Right on time, by the way, because he was also getting closer with his knowledge level. But uh, next dark events. Uh, Counterattack advent units have a chance to enter Overwatch after being revealed. That's not too bad. And return fire. Missed shots on advent officers and priests will trigger return fire. That's a bit more dangerous, but not the end of the world. Now, we do have a bit of things that we can remove here. So contact with new regions is made instantly. We can remove that. And we can replace that with... Um, uh, something else, although there's not really anything too interesting here. Um, I think the most interesting one is that on time mission, the timer does not begin until the squad ha lo has lost concealment. Uh, so let's place that over there. And that's basically going to be it, I think, because everything else, yeah, the ones I have are not too good. So let's keep it at that. My people will listen. Whether they like it or not. We're going to ignore the supply drop for now. Because we're still three days away of getting some nice loot. 
And we get the covert action. Ooh. There we go, more Illyrium cores. Uh, gained experience, but no promotions anyway. So I feel like there's something wrong with the promotions there. that we have new opportunities to strike at the elders, should you wish to pursue them. So we still can't recruit skirmishers or Templars, so I'm not going to recruit a Reaper. Uh, we haven't done that last time, so I'm not going to do that now either. Uh, so I think... Those breakthrough researches things are actually really, really interesting. So we're gonna give, uh, get modular sniper rifles so we can get another upgrade on our sniper rifles. Uh, and we need somebody who can actually get a promotion out of this. I think I'm gonna go with Jessica. Uh, she, she's gonna get a promotion. We can grab a scientist as well and add another soldier to reduce the risk. That's gonna be Elizabeth. There we go. So confirm that. Covered action. Kind of forgot, but with those two Illyrium cores, I'm gonna build our third and final spark unit. So that's gonna be really, really fun. We'll get started right away now. There we go. And the remaining Illyrium cores, I'm gonna leave for something we're gonna be doing really, really soon. So uh, keep that in mind, but first going back to the bridge. And there we go, Mysterious Stranger, we get an advanced laser sight and advanced auto loader. So let's press OK. We can go to the supply drop. Or increase region income, that's not that much of a problem, uh, but I do want to get those supplies. Because those supplies are going to help me build the final radio relay we need to build. And uh, yeah, that's going to basically be the end of it. Of uh, our scanning abilities here, because, well, our contacting abilities. Sayonic training complete, so we get initiative, in, in, initiative? No, initiate probably. Miyu Tanaka, a Psy operative, I think her hair just turned white. That's a bit weird. Stasis completely stuns the target for one turn, but renders them immune to any damage. I can actually continue training. All right, in XCOM 2 you can keep training them. Depending on who you ask, psionics could be considered the alien's greatest strength. Now our own Psy operatives can tap into that same power. And she actually does have a powerful weapon to shoot with as well. So Mia Tanaka can earn promotions and learn abilities by continuing to train in the Psy Labs. Can still participate in all combat missions while training and will automatically resume training if they return from combat uninjured. So that is really good. So we're going to continue the training. Both Solus and Null Lance is really, really powerful. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for Null Lance first. So that's only going to be five days, I'm assuming. Uh, going back to the bridge. Oh, ho! Central, Commander. Excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. So there we go. I do like that difference in the story in XCOM 2 uh, compared to XCOM 1. So in XCOM 1, the aliens just wanted to take over, looking for the perfect, the perfect creature to uh, to create. But here, it's expanded upon 
by saying that the elders are dying and they're looking for a cure to save themselves, which makes a lot more sense. So the next objective is to skulljack a codex and that's going to initiate the final part of this game, uh, which of course we were getting closer and closer to the end, because um, I think we're already over the amount of episodes I had for the original playthrough. I think that ended at 38. Um, so we're going to need to breach the alien network by skulljacking a codex. There's a few more things I want to do. So the one thing I still want to do is to actually raid those remaining facilities so we can get the other alien rulers down. They're incredibly hard to kill, but I believe that we can do that with the team we have right now. We can also start building the psionic gate. I'm going to wait with that since we need to make some time go further anyway. Uh, so we're going to go back to the research lab and investigate the hunter weapons so we can equip those rather soon. And then the Avdar project goes uh, closer again. Uh, one or two bars? Commander, Probably only one. The to make on the no, that's project. not a problem, Radford. Going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Oh, no, we don't. We're just going to grab some more supplies. The COVID action is done. Ooh. Modular sniper rifle. So Jessica has gained her promotion. Um, and Elizabeth gained a bit more cohesion with Jessica. But that's fine. Uh, we can promote Jessica, and now we need to assign a new COVID action. Next up is going to be the UFO defense construction. I'm probably not even going to bother building that thing, but we get another promotion for one of our soldiers, so that's going to be the biggest benefit we get. So Lizbeth is up next for a promotion, and that's going to be happening at the end of this action. And then, of course, we can't forget Jessica's promotion itself, uh, and we can go, of course, for volatile mix to increase damage on the grenades. And we get a landed UFO right before we get the final bit of our supply drop. But that is A-OK. -okay. We can definitely use a lot more supplies if you want to just get everything out of this game. Um, so the Shadow Chamber detects a Priest, Lancer, Purifier, Codex, important, Gatekeeper, Heavy Mech, Andromedon, and Sectoid. So the Gatekeeper and Andromedon are a bit concerning. But I feel like we can get away with uh, bringing at least one Spark unit. And this is going to be the team for Operation Hellwagon, so uh, raiding a very, very expensive UFO for all the materials we can get from it. So we're going to take Evie, Jacqueline, Erica, Kelly, Emily and Marina. So again, four people who can get promotions, so I'm hoping I finally get a promotion for at least Jacqueline, because she's been waiting for that promotion for so long. So I'm hoping next time we'll be able to promote her. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Valkyrie 2. Valkyrie 2, XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.